limited access to basic services, mainly clean water and health care. Damaged facilities and contaminated supplies exacerbate the already deteriorating humanitarian crisis, posing severe health risks for all Gazans. Mr. President, to strengthen the implementation of R2P, the international community needs to fill the legal void in the prevention and punishment of crimes against humanity. In this regard, we stress the importance of adopting the draft articles on crimes against humanity by the International Law Commission and call on the international community to ensure that the perpetrators of crimes against humanity are brought to justice. Mr. President, as a state that has been affected by regional conflicts and a long-standing host to large refugee populations, Jordan calls upon the international community to act with resolve to protect civilians and prevent mass atrocities. We believe in balancing humanitarian imperatives with respect for sovereignty and pursuing lasting peace through diplomacy and cooperation. Finally, Jordan's perspective on R2P is rooted in its commitment to the UN Charter, international law, regional stability, and humanitarian principles. I thank you.